Hey guys, long time no see. We are back with another episode of Encyclopedia Bag. This week, we'll be talking about how Turplot creates the perfect canvas climate and how there is no other method that comes even close. We also have Turping Tyler again. It's good to be back. Uh, one of the key concepts that you'll need to understand cannabis curing in Turplot is terpene emissions rate. Terpenes are emitted by the flower at a given rate. Along with terpenes, the flower is also emitting water vapor and other gases. The traditional process of curing canvas takes an active airflow approach, in which you are constantly replacing the atmosphere with new fresh air so the canvas can off-gas the excess moisture. This method, although tried and true, cannot provide the most optimal cure on a theoretical level because as you are transferring air out of the curing container, either via burping, a pump, a valve, or some other HVAC system, you are also transferring out all the emitted terpene molecules that are present in the atmosphere inside the curing container. Terpenes emissions are widely studied in the forestry field or study of trees. The scientists in that field have concluded that monoterpene emission from plants is controlled by air temperature and terpene concentration within the tissues. They also measure the concentration of terpenes in nitrogen within foliage and the emissions rate from foliage and demonstrated that emissions rate was linearly related to nitrogen concentration and exponentially related to air temperature. Unfortunately, there, there is really no way to stop these emissions from happening in non-freezing temperatures. Essentially, with the traditional process of curing, terpenes are emitted into the air and they are lost forever. With terp plot curing, our process takes a closed loop approach. Terp plot allows only the unwanted gases, the excess moisture and oxygen, to escape the bag. For terpenes that are emitted into the air inside the bag, Turplock acts as a vault and prevents it from leaching onto the turplock material itself or being transferred out of the bag. Think about this now. You have a climate where the terpenes are optimally maintained and concentrated inside the bag while the other gases are continuously diffused out of the bag. This is literally a perfect cannabis environment that you cannot replicate with any other curing method because all other methods would require the terpenes to be released from the storage along with the other unwanted gases. If you can smell the terps, then those are emitted terps, and they will never go back onto the plant. Like Quagmire says, you're letting all the stink out, <laughs> but the stink is actually terpene, so we definitely don't want it out. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We've got a lot more science coming up, so get ready to dive deep in the next episode of Encyclopedia Bath.